Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Kai and welcome back to Broke Rock Season 5. So, welcome back. I hope you've all had an absolutely fantastic week. This poor pig is stuck outside the glass. And today, as I said in the last video, we're going to be spawning three withers. So, to do that, we're going to have to build version 2 of my wither killer, which you'll get a tutorial for on Monday. All the materials we're going to need are in the box and obviously the wither skulls there. Before we start, you'll notice at the bottom right hand side we have a brand new chunk visualizer pack, which is absolutely awesome. It helps out a lot with the, a lot of the stuff we do here. And a link to that will also be available in the description below. So let me grab these resources and I'll meet you at the end portal. So we're back over here at our weather killer. I hope these endermen do not run at me as I'm facing the screen this way. We're going to rip down the version we currently have and then we're going to begin preparations for the new design. As I say, the new design will be available for a tutorial for you on Monday. So I'm just going to, we'll probably jump parts and pieces of it. So we'll start off by ripping out the entirety of it. Hopefully not looking at Enderman because I stupidly forgot to pick up the stuff we needed. We need to remember of course that this side is west. So we're just going to put ourselves in an obsidian block here. That will help with the placing the blocks. Luckily there isn't too much structural damage to this area itself, so we don't need to do it too much that way. The other positive is that the, the start of the farm does use the same basic principle as the old one. This is a farm that I've been working on for a couple of weeks and I'm finally glad to be able to build it. I have never built it in survival. I've only ever built it in my creative test world, so it is going to be really, really interesting to see what happens. I'm going to flatten the ground out and... We'll just uh, as you see even the blocks we have with us we're going to be building a nice box around this thing so we're going to work on that i picked up some obsidian while i was out and we're going to use this cobblestone as our temporary blocks i'm just going to flatten this area out hopefully not look at any enderman because i really don't want to die i have already died twice this week um i was doing i was obtaining some more materials i needed for the uh, for this build and i died in a bastion which isn't ideal. Um, I died twice, so my death counter is now up to 63. As you can see, Dara is also online. So me dying away out here, I would be kind of, you know, I'd be kind of stuck because I, I'm carrying the only set of elytra that I have left since I lost the other set when I died. So I say we're just gonna flatten this area out. You don't. This doesn't actually need to be done. I just think it's gonna make the area a lot easier. So what I'll do is I'll flatten out this area as best as I can and I'll bring you back. Okay so we have got our area slightly more flat in this area here which is directly underneath of our end portal here. We've left this block here so we can see where west is. We're going to go we're going to place an obsidian block here because we're going to need that for the farm anyway. We're going to go down three blocks from here and we'll be able to remove these two here. And then we're basically going to build out eight blocks in each of these directions without looking at the endermen that are running about. So what I'll do is I'll, do, I'll get these all, all laid out into the square and then I'll bring you back. I'll keep recording because I keep getting hit by endermen, so... Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow till I finally prove it. Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving. Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact. Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track. Keep my head up, staying strong, always moving on. Feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along. Push myself to be the best, die with no regrets, live with every See my message start to spread And I had so many dreams Then you hit your teens I think really what it seems Try to find out what yeah. it means yeah. Always do it on yeah. my own So I gotta get through it And the only thing I know Is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow Till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's I just wanna keep moving Yeah, I put out all the start It's my only medicine Yeah, everything I do I'm just being genuine Yeah, I'm sick of being screwed Feel my own Adrenaline, yeah, I do just what I do And I hope you let me in, let me in, yeah I'm grateful, oh yeah Able, oh yeah I'm stable, oh yeah No label, oh yeah You know me I have only a path I'm lonely 
So I've actually got the beginnings of this thing built up. As you can see, I've got the one of the walls up. I've got a wee door in which will be to enter and come out the farm. I've just realised I haven't brought enough blocks with me, which is typical of me. So I'm gonna have to jump back to the base, which isn't the closest thing, but I'll probably place the remaining 11 blocks here first so that we have got. There we go. So that is me out of blocks. So I'm going to jump back to the base, grab the rest of the blocks, and then come back. That was quicker that time, so let's get straight back to building this thing. Yeah. I don't believe in destiny, I just do what's best for me Don't listen to my enemies, they're just full of jealousy Yeah, this legacy, you gon' see what's left of me You gon' see success in me, you ain't seen the rest of me I just me. wanna be the best at what I know Better than the rest, just watch me grow Put me to the test and watch me go This is my quest, I'ma make it known They call me obsessive, oh I know Call me selective with my notes Call me aggressive with my flow Call me offensive even though Joe, I ain't gonna lie, life's tough Try to get by, life's rough Try to do it right, it's not enough Even though you try, you still mess up But I'm still gonna fight for what I love Still gonna die for what I love Still gonna try, I won't give up Still gonna fight until I've won They say I'm way too obsessed And I've got nothing left and I'm not quite there yet But those words they'll regret Cause I've got something left And I'm not giving in I will not let them win I won't stop till the end, no Okay, so here we are, we're back at our weather killer. I went back to the base, picked myself up an armor stand and one of DC Star's banners. All we're gonna do now is we're gonna double check the direction of west because I'm not 100% sure on it. I want to be 100% certain before I do any kind of spawning of the weather. So west is this direction here, which is what I have got set up. I'll just show you the setup I have on the inside here. Then I'll warn Dara what I'm doing. And then we'll see where we're at. So we'll take our weather skulls and our soul sand. All the stacks we need. We're only spawning one at a time. So we don't need to worry too much about that. We have to make sure that we are safe. In the inside we have our water sources on all four sides. We have this new weather killer platform design. Which I've seen from JC Plays. And obviously we have our water source at the bottom. We have two obsidian blocks underneath here, which will keep the weather inside. You can place one on top, but you don't always need to. One, two, three, and then we're just going to basically pull our back and place our weather skulls in there. If all goes well, the weather will spawn inside of here. If it escapes, then this video is going to take a completely different take. And this is where we get nervous. It looks like it is inside. Is it inside? Yes. Now all we have to do is that. Move back from it. And we shouldn't have any kind of damage getting done to our platform itself. And we'll just speed up the footage here of the weather dying. I wish I could get some footage of above. But I can't think of any way to do that. Oh, I've got tons of blocks. As long as it doesn't see us, it shouldn't try and hit us outside of its box. Last thing we want is it to escape. There we go, we can see it dying from here. I'll speed up the footage and we'll bring you back. We'll just let you see that once it's dying. You can see there is no damage being done to the platform whatsoever. We have lost some of the obsidian from the actual spawn platform itself. However, because all it does is break the obsidian, it will be picked up by the hopper underneath and deposited in the chest along with any weather roses we get. Uh, potentially the nether star if it doesn't end up in the centre of the gateway and as I say anything else that we get dropped from the weather. So I'll bring you, let's speed up the footage and I'll bring you back once it's dead.
and with that we have our three dinner stars which is our three remaining beacons i'm now going to jump into discord and post that this thing is built so our members can use it and yeah on saturday as always 10 30 pm this week we will be working on our ocean monument base mega base build area using these things oh that's right they're in the chest it's fine don't worry they're in the chest uh, working on that and getting those beacons to use so that is my time up for this week's episode i hope you've enjoyed this showcase of version 2 of my weather color oh stupid enderman uh, as i say a, few, a full tutorial will be available on monday at 10 pm gmt for another one of my tutorials. I hope you enjoyed that. It will be absolutely awesome. It'll be step by step and it'll be a lot simpler than me trying to run about like this. If you have enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe as always. The links to all the other Broke Rockers is in the description below. Please check them out. Set tell them I sent you. Until next time, my name is Kai. Thank you all for watching. Good night.